All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's definitely in the wild and check out uh, this community garden right over here. Isn't this pretty? Like ideal light. We got some sun, we got some clouds, we got some blues, we got some greens and uh, we got some velvia loaded right over here ready to rock and roll so what do we have here uh pretty much uh, you might be able to see it uh, through this finder something like that that's gonna be the framing on a 617 so we're shooting pretty much f22.31 second that's the setting right over there um I was thinking to darken a little bit the sky, but it's going to be fine. Uh, let's double check, because uh, the conditions are sometimes uh, changing. So, yeah, you see, sun is out. It's a half a stop brighter. Anyways, we got ISO 25. You see, there's no Velvia 25. Yes, there is. Like 10 years old, the Velvia 50 is <laughs> treated as 25. And then minus 1.5 because we're shooting with the center filter. And uh, that is it. So we're going to be doing one second, which you can see it's set right over there. Okay. Shutter is cocked. So we're pretty much good to go. I did, if you can notice right over here, a little bit uh, of fall uh, to compensate for the uh, leveling right over here, which is pretty much, uh, say, spot on. So it just comes down just a little tad, so it should be centered. And next thing you want to do is just to remove the dark slide like so, and then uh, because we have time nothing is moving right over here so I mean it's kind of like cheating but then we can check the focus because we want to focus you know the bench at least so turn this thing on you place the end the bottom right over here at the level of the focal film plane you measure 4.64 meters and we're gonna measure the bench right over here here at 5.3 meters so you know you understand that there's uh, that much depth of field 4.6 to 5.3 so 4.6 and 5.3 is going to be 4.6 somewhere like here 5.3 is going to be there so this is going to be our sweet spot because we want to blur a little bit uh, and uh, we're gonna actually do 16, so we're going to 10 meters. Uh, let's do two stops less, because we want to give a little bit of 3D-ness to this shot. So let's open a little bit, let's say 16. Now look at this, we got the sun again out, uh, which uh, is gonna give us a fourth, but let's clear this out, because it's gonna give us more, I bet. Uh, it's gonna be F16, so. Uh, let's do, I'm going to do F11 maybe, uh, I'm tempted to do F11, let's do F11, let's try wide open, <laughs> F11 we're going to get uh, up to 7 meters and down to 3 meters, so still plenty of depth of field, let's measure again because the light keeps changing, we got, uh, yeah, 8, uh, uh, 8.5, 11 and a half, uh, let's do eight and a half, uh, eighth of a second, like so, see, so eight of a second, and a little bit less than uh, 11, so let's try to darken a little bit, so next step, this is all set, sun is not coming out, now I'm just going to lose this thing, because we don't want to introduce any camera shape, this is just like to carry this thing and then I'll just make sure this doesn't touch anything and then when I'm ready to enjoy this particular moment right over here which struggles to focus but anyways this one I'm just gonna do one two three 
There you have it. Even the train agreed. This should be a nice shot. So unlock uh, the lever, always. That's the procedure. And then you fully load. And then the train agrees as well. That's the Canadian, Canada Pacific. Then you insert the dark slide, like so. I usually like to top the shutter. And then I just place this right back up and tighten it. Ready. So this is not going anywhere. This is not going to get tangled to anything. This is all geared, so all snug. And you check that everything is snug. Then something else to do, like the correct procedure, is always to check the state of the shift. In this case, uh, sorry, tilt, uh, fall, rise and fall. So in this case, you see, it's a little bit uh, fall, and now it's flush. So it's ready for the next shot. So at this point, you just load this up like so. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's pretty awkward. Anyways, you just load it up like this and it's on your shoulder and off you go. So this is how I wander around, for example, in these days when the sun is uh, perfectly kind of trying to hide behind the clouds, you get uh, this beautiful lighting and in a special place like this, Maybe you can get some nice shots. So there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.